So I just had to slick back my scraggly side bits on my hair. So what does I look like? Krusty the Clown. Anyway, so this one's gonna be a bit more of a scientific piece. Try not to be too shy because my girlfriend's upstairs and she could probably hear me. <laughs> my name's Jason, I'm a tattooist, in case you didn't know. Today I wanted to talk about stroke lengths. It surprised the hell out of me how many people don't understand it. And in talking to people, <clears throat> it's made me realize that maybe I didn't understand it or I was explaining it weird because Yaz, who was my apprentice for years, still didn't fully understand it. And I thought, well, didn't we speak about it? And then I was listening to myself speak about stroke lamps and thinking, God, man, you're making it more confusing than it already is. So usually when you buy a machine, there's three main stroke lengths. Yeah, usually you get the option. It's usually a, like a, a 2.5, a 3.5, or a 4 and above. They're sold as like the 2.5 being the black and grey light shading, the 3.5 being the all-rounder, so you can use it for anything, theoretically, or the 4 mil and above for your heavy lining. Now, what really is stroke length? Or what does that mean? So I'm going to try my hardest and explain it to you guys. To put it as simply as possible, the stroke length is literally the distance the needle travels in one hit from start to finish. So let's say you're using a pen machine, a rotary or a coil machine. The needle usually sits in the tube at the beginning. That's where it sits before you press the foot pedal, press the foot pedal, turn the machine or anything. And this is where it ends in one hit. Buh, 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 That's the stroke limp. Doesn't need to be more complicated than that. But I'm gonna make it more complicated than that. <laughs> Let's try and do this, okay. So at 1.8 millimeter, the stroke length will be 1.8 millimeter in one hit, which means the machine can run faster at a lower voltage, less distance, more rotation. And at a 4.8 stroke, it'll be 4.8 millimeter in one hit. So 4.8 millimeter in one hit. So it needs more power to do the same amount of rotations, which means a harder hit. As liners generally have a tighter configuration, like the needles all come into a point, you'd usually use a machine with a longer stroke. So you get a harder hit per rotation because with lions, you're aiming to do a single pass each time. That's not to say you couldn't do it with a 3.5 or even a 2.5 or a 1.8 if you're crazy, but it would just mean that you have to slow right down. In fact, I'd say that anything under like a 3.2, because I used to line the Zion and that was all right, but slow. And the Zion with the cam that was in when you got it, because you could change it between a 3.2 and a 3.7. But a 3.2, I could line with anything up to a 14 round shader and it healed good, but I'd have to slow right down to do it. But nowadays I use my Bishop wand, which is a five mil taper. It hits a lot harder. It means I can get lines in a lot quicker. And if I want to use like a free liner to do a bit of fine lining, that's fine, but I have to like back off really far. So it's just brushing the tip of the needle into the skin. Cause it's still a very hard hit. So I'll have to do them lines pretty fast and light, but that comes into something else. I mean, if you're using a rotary and there's no give in a machine, you'll kind of, you have to emulate the give by how hard you stretch the skin, but we'll talk about that another time. A stroke on a rotary is depending, dependent on where the grommet, which is where the needle bus sits. So if you've never used an old coil or even an older rotary or a rotary that isn't a pen machine, you'll have like a needle bar on the grommet even if you're using cartridges, sometimes there's like a push bar. And let's say the circle is that. If the needle, if the grommet is really close to the center of the circle, it's gonna spin faster. Let's say you're running at 8.8 8, 8 volts, yeah? It's gonna spin faster near the middle. If the grommet is near the edge of the circle, it's gonna spin slower, but have more length to the needle coming out of the machine. With a coil machine, it's different. 
The stroke is judged by how far from the contact screw, the front spring, I think it's the front spring, I don't think it's the back spring, the front spring travels from the contact screw. So let's say your contact screw's there and that's your spring. That's the distance it travels. Now you'll get a harder hit with a coil machine because it's using springs, so it has give, so you can push back on it and it will kind of slow down to and not spring anymore. If you let it go and it's got a long stroke, it's got more of a whiplash. That's why coils are always the king of power. You'll be able to get in a lot thicker lines and more solid blacks and stuff with a coil machine, whiplashing that needle in. With a rotary, it's just direct. It's like, there's no whiplash movement. It's, it's a, unless you're using like a springed bar, it's just a rigid metal bar or needle bar and it just does the job, that's it, direct. So even if you've got a fucking 10 mil stroked rotary, it won't be as strong as a coil. Generally, there is weak coils, obviously, you get different powers and magnets and capacitors and blah, 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 so much stuff for another video. But anyway, as for adjustable needle depth, which a lot of people think is the stroke, where you twist your grip and the needle goes in and out, it's not changing the stroke. That's just changing how far the needle is coming out. That really depends on, well, it depends on a lot of things, but let's say, for example, with me and the Bishop and the liner, the Bishop one liner, I hang the needles out quite far, which means I have to dip more because the needle is then going into the tube less to collect ink. Anyway, I'll do another video on needle depth adjustment and why it's good to have it out far or yeah, have it in short and we'll put that in another video another time so yeah this is an fk irons run this is an fk irons zion running 3.2 this is an omen from star running a 3.5 this is what i use for everything else other than lining and, and whip shading or like peppering. I'll use it sometimes for that, but I won't generally use it for lining. I did have a Cheyenne Hawk, but I've replaced it with this at the moment. It's a really good machine. Maybe I'll do a review on that soon. And this is my Bishop one liner running at five mil, which is insanely big. Right, I tried to keep that short. In conclusion, the simplest way to put stroke length is if you're buying a 3.5, the needle will never travel more than that distance. 3.5 millimeters. The needle will never travel more than 3.5 millimeters out of the machine. Anyway, I hope that helped in some way. I'm gonna put this together. I tried to, I read notes for this and everything and still trying to explain it on camera whilst looking at notes is like a fucking nightmare. So anyway, I'm going to listen to this back, see if it makes any sense. If it does, I'll post it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my Patreon. It really helps them extra couple of bucks. It really help with the time I might put aside to make these. And they take a long time, I swear. Otherwise, you just buy me a coffee or get something off my merch store. I'm working on some new t-shirts for Halloween because I've got Halloween coming up in a month couple of months and we'll do a whole flash day and all that anyway i do digress thank you and goodbye oh my god what was that so oh, oh,